Hi, I'm Jeffrey Martin from 360 Cities. I'm here to show you the Theta 360 camera. So let's take it out of the box. It uh, arrived uh, nicely packed in uh, some nice soft stuff. It's not going to get cold. So here is the, here's the box itself. Uh, it's a really nice box. It's uh, got the camera there in what appears to be life size. And when you open the box, there's the uh, there's the camera, nicely encased in uh, some foam. So when you first uh, when you first pick up the camera, uh, I noticed how light it is. It's really light, uh, and the uh, overall material is uh, it's a nice nice smooth plastic with the outer ring in uh, in metal. Um, it has two buttons. There's a power button and there's a Wi-Fi button on the top. Uh, it's what looks like speakers or something. Um, on the bottom, there's a quarter-inch um, uh, tripod screw hole, and there's a uh, USB port uh, for charging the device or getting the data off. <coughs> Obviously, the uh, most striking uh, feature of, of this device is the two lenses on it. Uh, they stick out a lot. Um, they obviously see more than 180 degrees each in order to make a spherical image. So it's a really quite a striking uh, feature. There's the single button on the front, so you really can't get much simpler than this. Um, when, it, when it arrives and you open the box, uh, the camera won't be fully charged, but if you're like me, you are obviously tempted to uh, turn it on and uh, push the button. It uh, makes a nice futuristic sound when you, when you push the button and take a picture, and uh, that's, that's all there is to it. Uh, the device currently requires an iPhone if you want to remotely trigger it or do any of the more fancy features, so we can do that right now. Uh, I've got the device turned on. The Wi-Fi light is, uh, is red, which means that it's not currently connected to a device. So I'll uh, put it down and I'll take my iPhone out. Uh, the device needs to be um, paired. The, the camera will create its own Wi-Fi network. Uh, so you go to settings, you push the Wi-Fi button and then there will be a list of available Wi-Fi networks. There will be one that says Theta, and then there are six numbers. So the first time you connect to it, you have to enter a password, which uh, will be the serial number of the device that you're using. After that, you simply connect to, to the network like, like any other one. So now I'm connected to the Theta Wi-Fi network. I'll, uh, I'll close that, and I've already installed the uh, Theta iPhone app, so I'll open that. And now I see that uh, there's a little icon, the camera, and there's some green waves and with the iPhone. So that means that the device is connected. Now I can push this middle button here, and uh, now I can trigger the camera from the phone. So I'll do that now. And now I've taken a picture without touching the camera, which is really, really important because once you take a few pictures uh, holding the camera, you'll notice that your hand is uh, quite a major part and yourself is also a major part of the image. So if you want to get a picture without it being a self-portrait, you'll need to trigger the camera remotely. So the camera has sent the picture panorama to the phone, and I've got it here, and uh, it's a pretty seamless, spherical image. I can now uh, share that if I want by tapping the share button. Um, you can set up your Facebook, Twitter, or uh, Tumblr accounts. You can uh, enter a comment, and then you tap, tap the share button. Right now it's connected to the Wi-Fi network of the camera, 
and I don't have a data plan on this iPhone. So if I want to actually upload the, the picture, I'll have to uh, change the Wi-Fi network back to my normal Wi-Fi network. So I've done that, and now I'll go back to the Theta app, and it will upload the panorama. It's really, really simple, and it's altogether pretty, pretty smooth and flawlessly done for a 1.0, you know, pre-release app and uh, hardware, it's uh, pretty flawless. So the image is uploaded, it's, uh, it's uploaded to the Theta website and it's published onto my Facebook wall. Um, I'll just show you what else is in the box. When you, when you take this out, there is a, uh, there's a carrying case for the camera and there is a USB cable. It's a uh, standard um, micro USB. So if you have an Android phone or any other standard smartphone, it's uh, the standard cable. So um, you can add this to your um, huge uh, micro USB cable collection, or you know keep it handy for charging the device if you don't have such a cable already. So that's uh, that's pretty much it. The, the case is really, really important, obviously, because uh, the device itself is pretty vulnerable, having these two lenses sticking out. This is really impossible to avoid if you want a spherical image, so it's definitely handy to uh, keep the device in a soft case like this. So, that's, uh, that's the Ricoh Theta camera, and uh, I'll be publishing a more thorough review of it next week. Jeffrey Martin from 360 Cities, thank you very much.